Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to Planet Coaster. So the Studios Pack DLC is out now. It is available and it is installed, downloaded and all that fun stuff. So let's jump straight in to a sandbox park and go through all of the changes and all of the new stuff that is in the Studios Pack. Okay, so we're here we are in a brand new park. Um, so what we're going to do is go through all the stuff in the Studios Pack in this video. We'll go through the 1.6 free update in another video and look in a little bit more depth of some of the items in the Studio Pack in separate ones as well, like some of the rides. Um, we'll go into those in certain uh, different videos. Right then, so let's get started. Let's first of all go into Scenery. And I'm first of all... Let's have a look. Content pack is where it is. We're going to choose Studios and we're going to go down every single new item and have a look through. So, bear with me and here we go. So, let's start off with these animated lights. So, let's plonk them down first of all uh, and then we'll have a look at them in the evening. There we go. These are the, the thing I am most excited about. These lights are incredible. And obviously they can be coloured uh, as much as you want. They can um, activate on trigger. And obviously using one of the new features in the 1.6 update, you can recolour them as well through triggers. So those are brilliant. So more on those when we go through the 1.6 stuff. So what else have we got? Uh, backdrop screen, oh that's good, so a nice uh, green screen, I suppose that's quite a good idea. Uh, there is a boom mic, uh, a truck, so there's various different pieces actually of uh, uh, new uh, vehicle scenery, so we'll go through them in a second. Here's an animated window smashing scenery thing. There we go, that's how that looks. That's lovely. Um, so what else we got? More stuff for the trucks. Uh, buses. Bush. Bus launch crash flip. Oh, I see. So these are all animated things. So I don't know what this one does. Oh, there we go. So I assume that's going to come back over here. That's very much like... Um, oh, there we go. There we go, wonderful. Okay, what else we got? Okay. Uh, so we have a lovely car speeding around the track. Car explode backwards. There's a lot of animation. Car explode forwards. Car sideways, crash jump, crash roll, look at them all, crash straight, so there's all that and then there's all the same I assume in car 2, oh there's also some destroyed ones too. Yeah, so I assume most of these are going to be the same animation, just with a different car. So far, these are so useful. The amount of different cars there are here, that's amazing. Uh, and then there's bumpers, ball bars and all that kind of stuff. Amazing. Right, let's move on to the police car. So that's the standard one. Uh, so same as before, there's a, a police chase. Uh, yeah, so again, sideways, forwards. They're all pretty similar. Uh, and I guess it's going to be the same for the taxi as well. They're all going to be pretty similar, I assume. Um, just with a different look. So there are all the vehicles. Let's move on to the props. So we have cardboard boxes over varying sizes. 
which are exciting. Uh, chain link fencing. Oh, this has been something we've been wanting for a long while. So that's good. That can be very useful. Uh, so we've got a clapper board. Coiled cable. So again, more little generic props that can be used for a lot of stuff. Uh, what are these? Commercial shop sign. Oh, these are useful. So I assume these are all billboards. Yeah, very useful. Very, very useful. That is great. Okay. Yeah, very good. Uh, diffuser panel. So this is sort of for your lighting for a scene. Director's chair. Elevator door. So this is going to link into one of the rides a bit later on. Uh, and also well, any ride, really. Um, emergency lights. Um, there's different versions of this. There's an uh, animated one, a small version, and a small animated one. Uh, and we've got some different sized lights. I'm guessing that's a spinny one. Let's have a quick look in the night just to see how they look. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I assume these are colourable as well. Yes, they are. Very good. That's just on its own is just an amazing effect anyway. Brilliant. I love the fact that we've got new lighting. I really do. That's the thing I'm most excited about for this game. Well, this pack. Uh, right, what else we got? Some blue lights. They're just uh, little flashy ones. Uh, equipment boxes. Again, these are going to be so useful for just generic bits of theming. Uh, equipment trolley. One and two. Uh, fiberglass. Greeble panel explode. Ah, oh, I see. So that's going to be like a, an upright animated part. Oh, okay, I see. I see. That's good. Uh, right. So now we've got started on some of the film crew. So let's plonk a few of these bad boys down and we'll have a look at them in a bit more detail. So here are our film crew. So there's quite a few different versions of animatronic. I'm guessing he can sit on the little director's chair. And as before, these are all colourable as well. So we can change their their t-shirts, their skin colour, whatever, their holding, all that kind of good stuff. Right, next up we've got some fire escape equipment. So these are going to be great on buildings. Um, just to add a bit more depth to certain things and a few more sort of street elements uh, a fire hydrant that is uh, an effect but obviously we could activate that on trigger to turn it off so that's good, gives you that option uh, fire truck uh, a very well detailed fire truck actually yeah it's very nice that is uh, and then we've got some uh, more floodlights Again, of a varying sizes. Let's see what kind of light they emit. Yeah, quite good. Lights on the the truck as well, which is nice. Okay, carrying on. We've got a garbage garbage truck, <laughs> which is there. Obviously, all the wheels we can put on afterwards. If you want to mind, there's no wheels on anything. So that's amazing. And then we've got some various different signs. These are like the glowing. Let me just double check. Are these, uh... oh no, maybe not. It's just uh, just how the light touched it. So yeah, some nice signs as well. Okay, so we move over another section because we've got some big uh, props over here. Some helicopter props. So this one is a complete full anim uh, animal. I can say animatronic that just flies around. Again, there's a, a news helicopter and a police version. Now, obviously, the rotor blades are separate, and there's a tail one as well, just there. So, again, that's not in the right place, I know that. <laughs> but these can obviously be turned on and off. So, if you want to just a static prop, you've got that as well. Okay, moving on, we have a jetty collapse. So this looks like it is a nice bit of a... So this could be used very nicely on a, uh, a dark ride or 
any kind of uh, sort of outdoor adventure where you've got a track going across this potentially. Very nice, that is very nice. And locomotive crash, so this is a good one this, this is a very big prop. So let's have a look at this bad boy. Let's let it reset. So again, imagine this coming towards you on a, on a, uh, on a ride. That's amazing. That is really good. And a manhole cover which uh, explodes, but again, could be used as a non triggerable effect as well. Okay, so what other stuff have we got? We've got metal barrels of varying different colours and styles. So these could become very useful. So this is another animated prop of a metal walkway that collapses. As you've just kind of seen the end of it just there. So let's wait till it raises it back up again. Um, they take a little while to um, reset these things, but obviously you would have them as triggers. So there we go. So that could be used as a ceiling or a floor. That would be very useful. Another vehicle. This time it's a minivan. Now let's get some equipment put down. So we've got some various different styles of camera equipment. One that is a uh, animatronic that sort of moves in the background, which is uh, very nice actually. Again, they can be turned off if you uh, didn't want to use them as animation. So here we've got some uh, little props of newspapers and a newspaper machine and these in the background I'm really intrigued by they are on they're listed as opening screen lift so I'm very intrigued are these these are a billboard oh my god they are a billboard right so how does that look oh wow so you can now put a movie or a still image oh my god that is incredible on a billboard. Just think of the options that gives you. That is incredible. Here's one pallet, fans. You don't have to make your own pallets anymore. There's one in the game. Okay, so screens. Right, so parabolic screens. Now these are the ones which are going to be used for the robot arm. Um, now these follow the train. So basically, you'll put the car head in here. It'll have a, uh, some kind of thing on the screen. Let's, let's put one on it just so we can give it an example. Um, now we'll look through most of the, um, the new the new actual uh, billboard things that have been added in this pack a little bit later on. But first of all, here's an example of it. So you'll be inside this, going around with it, getting an immersive kind of situation. So they are going to be brilliant for use on dark rides. Really, really good they are. Okay, we actually have new pavement pieces as well with curbs and with uh, corner pieces, which are very nice. And also there's another window here, which is uh, an, an animation of a smashed window. Couple more police lights and a roadblock, which again will become very useful. Uh, power generator and some roadwork signs. And to go with that, we have a new searchlight. So again, let's look at this in the dark and see the beam that gives off. Look at that. That'll look great at the entrance to your park. Okay, next up, sharks. So these are going to be huge. So let's have a look how they look. Right, so we've got a shark attack, a shark breach, shark chomp, another shark attack of a small one, small breach, small chomp, uh, shark 
swim at small. Uh, so these are very similar to the um, some of the animatronics that were in the adventure pack. So there they are. Those are our sharks. And again, as everything in this game, the animation is brilliant. Right, so let's keep going. We've got some shipping containers and crates and storage boxes. Uh, we've got another truck that explodes and a flatbed. So here we've got this one is a cardboard box uh, impact. This one over here is drifting embers, which is very nice. There's also a dust blowing, large and a dust blowing small. So then these are adding to our special effects. Over here we've got a uh, dust explosion and there's also an electricity arc. Now these come in various different sizes. So again these are very useful. Fire hydrant burst. Floating newspaper. This one is glass falling, so it'd be great if you're going underneath it in a kind of uh, indoor dark ride type situation. Very good. So a few more uh, explosions, and uh, this one here is a glass shattering effect. It's just there. This one is a crate smash. Got a newspaper explosion. That one is plasma explosion one, plasma explosion two. Uh, this is a rubble fall. That's that's actually really good. large version of that as well. Uh, there's another crate and a straw bale explosion. Okay, so moving on, we've got some more lights. So these are different styles of spotlight. Again, let's have a look in the dark, see how they are. Uh, so these are a little bit... Uh, actually, they're better now they're on. Um, and then again, they can be colourable, so that's very useful for lighting up scenes. So here there's a street lamp arm uh, and also a street lamp head that comes slightly uh, detached for some reason. Um, but that's kind of how it looks. I've not put it on exactly right, but you get the drift. And there's a singular pole for that as well. So here's the first look at one of the new rides. This is a uh, destroyed, crashed version of the new vehicle in the um, big, uh, big screen tour, which we'll look into more detail uh, in a few minutes. So there's a new bin, which obviously goes on the path, so that's just there. Uh, there's a dumpster for here for um, anima animatronics that can land in this from falls. And there's also a stunt for pallets. So a lot of those effects we've just seen a few minutes ago, uh, we utilize these quite nicely. So now here are just a few of the new animatronics. Um, so basically there are 
a vast array of different themed animatronics in different outfits um, but all the animation is pretty much the same so you've got this standard set so a couple of fallen ones a couple of what have been pushed uh, some random seated and static and then some like that walk or fall um, so there's a vast array of different styles so these are the archaeologists there are some pirates um, there are some police men and women uh, some stuntmen in sci-fi outfits um, western outfits uh, and there's a, a lot of zombies as well uh, there's some fairy tale versions some business women and men uh, there's some mummies another pirate and then another zombie set so as you can see there are a vast array of different characters now all having these animations applied to them so you've got endless scope now for different types of attraction and different types of people and again these are all colorable so you can choose whatever colors you want So here we've got a subway entrance, there is a uh, SWAT truck, various styles of tank, uh, and obviously the wheels are down here as well, I'll just put a couple on the truck so you can see how they look. So here we have a few more pieces, some traffic lights, a cone, some taxi lights, and a lot of new road signs. There we go. I have just checked and unfortunately there are no new fonts added at the moment, which is a bit of a shame, um, but hopefully they are still to come. Okay, there's also this massive train and train track props. There's this uh, flaming wagon prop, which uh, I think just needs to be set. Here it comes. So let's see how this looks. Yeah, so it's a flaming wagon prop that rolls all the way down and then uh, crashes at the end. Very nice. The other few things we've got over here is a new trash can and a random bin bag and also another window that is triggerable to explode. Here we've got a warehouse door again is uh, triggerable. There's a water tank lid and base. So that obviously pops up on top just over there. Like that. Uh, there's a full water tower here that is uh, split and does collapse so again we can add some effects to this and it will look great as part of a uh, an interactive tour kind of ride um, here we have some new fence panels and another window with shutters um, that collapses uh, not collapses sorry that shatters so let's zoom out and just have a quick look that is just a small small offset of just some of the new props. I've not even put them all down and just look how many there are on the screen just there. That is an insane amount of props and we've not even gone into the building stuff yet so let's quickly go through the new building stuff here in the studios pack. 
Rightio, so we have um, boutique shop doors. They look very nice. Uh, there's a shop facade. I'll put them up here so you can see them. Um, so this utilizes, again, something that's going to be appearing in the next video I make. Um, but there are now glass windows in the game. See-through glass windows. Uh, but that is part of the 1.6 update. So we'll look more depth into that one uh, in the in another video. Um, but for now, let's keep looking at these. So basically, you can see how these can all clip together to give you various different styles of shop fronts and shop windows. There's a lot of kind of building pieces for the urban environment, and these could be used for a lot of other stuff. I'm getting spooky vibes off these straight away. So, some more windows. Again, this one here is um, a triggerable effect as well. So, it's weird having triggerable effects within buildings. Um, but, yeah, that one is um, a triggerable effect. Now, these ones are all billboards, believe it or not. Um, so, at the moment, the billboard that is there underneath is actually a billboard of a curtain, as you can see on here. So if we turn that off to a gravestone, you'll see that it changes. So that is very useful. So here we've got a few more pieces. So here we've got some awnings and then some uh, commercial commercial shop fronts. These are quite generic shop fronts, again, using the glass pieces. Uh, and this one here, you could have a little display window, which is quite nice. Uh, and over here, I think they're the same doors we've already seen. Um, but they they do turn up here in building as well. So there's the elevator door and this little panel that is uh, that is broken. Here we've got some gloss pieces. So these look like gloss tiles, uh, and again they can be recolored. So again, you can make some really nice, fancy-looking buildings out of these, and they've got a really nice shine to them. So a nice gloss tile set. Here there is a glass um, wall and another window piece that is uh, triggerable. Here we have some step pieces which are going to come in very handy. And then two more that match the set just here. Here we've got some new stucco pillars. These look very nice and very well detailed, actually. So they can come in useful for, again, many themes. And here, I think we've already seen them, but some more windows um, that have the animation on them just there. Right, so that's about it for the building pieces, and that's about it for the scenery. So let's have a very quick look at the three new rides that are in this pack. So this is one of the new rides, which is the Remotion. So this is basically modelled after the Harry Potter ride in Universal Studios. It is a robo-arm on a track, uh, with the robo-arm portion being entirely customizable. And this is where those uh, parabolic screens come in handy, uh, as this is how they work with the um, the remotion. So let's just pop this into night mode, and then jump in the first person camera, and see how these power 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 block. <laughs> I can't even say it. See how these screens work. So it pops inside, and then the screen follows the track and follows the train. So you can make some amazing scenes. In using these screens that just follow into a new scene so that's going to be excitingly amazing so that's how they work so we'll have a little bit more of a look at those soon uh, how is it power how are they called what are they called parabolic that's the one parabolic <laughs> right let's look at the next ride okay so next up this is essentially the uh, Tower of Terror at uh, Disney 
So this is called the uh, Horror Heights, uh, and this is a multi-drop tower ride that's been designed to work indoors. So again, let's pop it into night mode, give it a test, and pop on board, and have a quick look at this ride. So as, the, as you can see, this uses a lot of the uh, the effects and pieces we've just looked at, uh, including the motion going forwards and the various different lift shafts. Um, this portion of the ride is where you can set the custom uh, drop sequences uh, and also set them up as triggerable effects like we've seen just here. So you can make some amazing rides using this. So again, we will go into more detail uh, on this in a separate video where we go fully in and have a look at every single aspect of the ride. Okay, next up is the big screen tour. Now this is a tour bus style ride that follows the uh, this track. And obviously you could drop this into the floor and have it looking like it's riding on the road. But I mean, that's quite a nice surface anyway. Um, so if we jump on board, have a quick look at how it looks. You have a little tour guide here, who talks to you. And obviously we can add in the audio and stuff for this. Uh, and also, uh, as you can see, if we drop back a few seats, see how it looks from the side. So you can get a good view of uh, whatever the ride is that you are using <laughs> this on. So whether that be a tour bus or even just a dark ride, as this could be used for something in the style of Reign of Kong um, at Universal Studios. Okay guys, well that is basically it for this overview of the brand new Studios Pack. Um, so, just to sum up then, so there's three brand new rides here, the Big Screen Tour, the Remotion and the Horror Heights. In total there are 127 character animatronics uh, from different uh, characters. There are 81 vehicle items, 60 building items, 24 animated scenery items, 85 static scenery items, 20 special effects, 19 scenery blueprints, there are 6 new music tracks, 24 placeable ambiences and 78 triggerable special effects. And also there is a police hat which is now on sale <laughs> in the um, Hats Fantastic shop. So that is it, that is the amazing studios pack in all of its glory and I must say from first glance it looks absolutely incredible. Some of the features here, the effects, the lights, there's so many options you can use these on in so many different themes. So I can't wait to get going and start using this amazing, amazing pack. So if you want to purchase this, it is available right now on the Steam or Frontier store. It is £7.99 in the UK or $10.99 or €10.99 elsewhere. I... From first glance, I think it looked incredible, but I'll let you guys make your mind up. So, I'll do another video uh, shortly, which will show the um, the full changes that have been added for the free update, which is 1.6. Um, so, that includes things like the hotels, triggerable flexi-colour, uh, path tunnelling, and also the glass windows. So, I'll cover that in a whole different video, and we'll also look at the three new rides in a bit more depth in their own videos as well. So, thank you guys ever so much for watching this Planet Coaster Studios Pack update. If you've enjoyed the video, drop us a like down below and give us a subscribe if you've not done so already. If you've got any questions, queries, comments, or suggestions, or anything that I've missed, drop that down below, and I'll check that out and look at that for the next video. Thank you ever so much, guys, and I'll see you soon for more Planet Coaster content. Cheers, guys. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>